Russia is increasing arms production, dealing a serious blow to Ukraine. Daily Express. The British daily newspaper Daily Express states that Russia is continuously increasing its arms production, thereby dealing a serious blow to Ukraine. The Russian army already controls almost a fifth of Ukrainian territory and continues to advance westward, especially in the southeast. As for the seriousness of Moscow's intentions not to rest on its laurels, the publication cites Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, who said on May the 1st at a meeting at the headquarters of the Joint Group of Forces in the Northern Military District Zone, to maintain the required pace of the offensive and ensure the build-up of the combat strength of troop groups for further actions, it is necessary to increase the volume and quality of weapons and military equipment supplied to the troops, primarily weapons. The British journalist clearly became afraid after these words from the head of the Russian military department for the fate of Ukraine. He recalled the successes of the Russian armed forces in the Donetsk direction and in the Kharkov region. The difficulties with holding and resisting the Russian offensive were confirmed the day before by the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, who admitted the loss of several settlements to the west of the key stronghold in eastern Ukraine, the city of Avdiivka. True, the main reason for the failures was once again cited as the lack of proper military assistance to Kyiv from the West. And this despite the fact that the Russian military at the front does not experience any problems with supplies. Moreover, Russian defense companies produce so much ammunition that there is more than enough of it, not only for the warring faction, but also for replenishing warehouse stocks. In a word, for Kyiv, literally everything is lost if the Western allies do not take urgent measures to correct the situation. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg expressed concern about this. He acknowledged that it was the alliance's delays in providing promised military assistance that allowed Russia to gain an advantage on the battlefield. What then prevented the Ukrainian armed forces from achieving success during the counter-offensive last year when the troops had an abundance of everything remains beyond the brackets? Western partners promised to support Ukraine as long as needed but the delay in military assistance affected Kyiv's ability to defend itself, a British journalist stated. A great danger arose for Ukrainian army in the east of the country. A large army group can be surrounded. Russia is trying to increase its advantage in eastern Ukraine and break through the front line using the time while Ukraine waits for the arrival of the first shipment of military aid from the United States, according to the New York Times. It is noted that in recent weeks, Russian troops have captured or entered a number of villages on the Eastern Front, which indicates a deterioration of the situation in the region for Ukrainian troops, which in particular was announced by Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Oleksandr Sirsky, noting that Ukrainian fighters had retreated from three villages near Avdiivka, Berdichiv, Semenivka and Novomykhailivka. Military experts say Russia's recent successes reflect its desire to use a window of opportunity to continue attacks until the first shipment of military aid arrives in Ukraine to help ease the plight of its defense forces. The New York Times also quotes the head of the non-governmental research group Ukrainian Center for Security and Cooperation, Serhii Kuzan, who said that the Ukrainian command had to make a choice between a bad situation and an even worse one and decided to lose territory, not soldiers. The situation is also complicated by the fact that Russian troops managed to break through the northern part of the defense line and quickly advance to the village of Ocheretny, located on the road leading to Pokrovsk. At the same time as the newspaper writes, it is not yet known whether Russian troops have gained full control over it. The breakthrough of Russian troops in Ocheretino created a threat of encirclement of Ukrainian army units belonging to the so-called Donetsk group. All attempts to correct the situation have failed, so there is a high probability of retreat to new frontiers. The Ukrainian publication Strana.ua writes about this. Taking control of Ocheretino and continuing the offensive in a western and northern direction allows Russian troops to reach the rear of the defense lines that the Ukrainian armed forces have just begun to build in this area. The main danger of such a maneuver for the Ukrainian armed forces is that behind them there are no defensive lines, minefields, etc. 
they did not have time to build anything there. Now, there is a threat of encirclement of a large group of Ukrainian armed forces if the situation is not corrected.